Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to another video of the day. There's going to be three today. I don't know in what order, but <laughs> this might be the last one. I might be doing a July one at noon. I think that's how I'm going to do it, but this is for your weekly reading. So we're going to look at your week and um, what I had so far for this week in the last week in June was the wandering path, um, the rising above your limitations, the taking what you need and getting what you need. You're so close to your wishes and you're finally, uh, the good days are here after like everything you've been through. So I feel that you are relaxing into that energy. I'm going to take three cards to show the energy of the week and how it progresses. So we're going to do that first. I'm taking from the Good Karma Tarot. Then I'm going to put, I'm going to pull like the energetic cards for the week that we're going to be looking at. And I'm going to be taking it from the Psychic Tarot this week. So I'm changing up the deck that I'm using. So. All right. So let's see how your week's going. Well, we're going to start off in the middle to the end. Start off with the Emperor, the stability. You feeling good within yourself, Pisces. Knowing that the path that you are on, you feel stable in it, okay? Even if you're not quite sure where you're going, what, you're, what the end result is, you're feeling very, very comfortable in your shoes, okay? It's a good place to be, this <laughs> Four of Wands. And it kind of did a little twirly thing, as you notice. And uh, you see the twirly things on the card as well. It's giving me that sensation. You're really happy with where you are. You're happy with the results that you've been getting. You feel the rewards coming in. You feel like celebrating it. You feel like, you know, things are working out for you. So that's good. That's reflecting where you are and where you want to go. Look at that. And a star for the ending card. Gorgeous. Feeling in alignment with your goals and your destiny and your wishes and everything that you've been hoping for. Okay, a lot of hope, illumination, renewal, boundlessness, peace, healing. This is what the, the star is. And it's also aligning your chakras with everything that you've been wanting. It's, um, yeah, I mean, that's a great starting. <laughs> this is, this is pretty good. I mean, you know, if you're looking at the week, um, this is, this great energy starting off with that that's uh, pretty good it's pretty good if you're starting off with that all right so we're gonna go with the psychic tarot here to see this is not a full deck it's only uh, I don't know there's 65 cards in this but they call it a tarot deck because it does mimic a lot of the tarot cards so that's why I'm using it because it's more like an oracle type deal thing so anyway it's called the Cyclic Tarot Oracle Deck. <laughs> just, to, just to mess you up, right? Alright, so I'm going to pull six cards out of this. We're going to start with the work you have to put in, the spiritual guidance that you should be getting from spirit if you let it in, the blocks that might show up, how the past is affecting you and your week, the magic that you bring to the situation, and then finally the spiritual message or the, you know, rounding up of everything for this week from uh, spirit. So the first one is the work that you're going to be putting this week. Okay. Uh, material and spiritual prosperity. Um, yeah, this could either be like more of the Six of Wands or the Six of Pentacles. It doesn't really matter. This is you working on, well, your human and spiritual life because the material world is the world we live in and the spiritual world is where we come from. So it's like putting things into balance for me. It's really putting, you know, you see the two sides, the two uh, fountains. Everything looks very... Um, like it's it's very balanced okay the trees are the same on each side the roads are the same on each side and you're standing right in the middle here okay you're balancing out your life and I mean you could put these cards together okay just flip it around see 
you feel very much in control of the situation. So that's what you're going to be fostering or giving uh, energy to this year, this week is how to better um, bring this about. Okay, I'm feeling very awake in these readings in these last few days since yesterday. I have been feeling more awake, less asleep. Um, sometimes I'm very aware that I feel asleep in this lifetime. Um, I don't know if this happens to you, Pisces, but I feel like I walk around and I know that this isn't really where I'm, where I come from. I'm asleep in this body. I feel asleep in this body. This may resonate to some of you, um, but the last few days I feel um, like I'm waking up. Something is waking up that the two parts of me, the physicality and the spirituality, are really, um, I don't know, they're, they're, they're integrating and I'm waking up to that. I don't know how much of that will make sense to you, but that is what I'm feeling, that's what I, I, I don't know, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> Take it as you will. Message relayed, okay? So spiritual guidance, if you let it come in. Fulfillment of wishes, the nine. You have the six and the nine already. Okay, so this is your chance right now, Pisces. This is with the water here. I'm feeling very much uh, either the nine of pentacles or the nine of cups. Okay, the water with the cups, uh, fulfillment of wishes. Yeah, it's, it, I, I feel it would be the cup. Okay, I feel there's a lot coming in for you, Pisces. Yeah, yeah. The spiritual guidance here is to follow your your true north okay follow what's right for you follow your internal compass your wishes your blessings the nine is about the i okay in the tarot there's really not the i though okay because if you think about it like i said if you live your best life you're affecting the world around you so there's never really an i and more of a, all of us together the brighter you shine your star the more you can guide others all right, so the block for the week, uh, turn this deck. I'm not taking any reversals in here. Just letting you know, because you probably saw me take it. Okay, your block is awareness. And this is what I'm feeling. Okay, there's a, there's a magician vibe to it, but I feel, um, that's what I was talking about. The block is, is to put these two together to become aware. I, maybe awake was not the right word. It is, but it isn't. It's more like an awareness that you are waking up, if that makes any sense. So this is, if I don't know if that's a block. I don't feel it as a block. I feel it more as something that you're going to be observing this week. And I feel that they're going to help you or they're going to show you how to get um, further awake, further aware, if that makes any sense. Okay. So the next card up would be how the past is affecting you. That awareness card, it's, it's, it's really pinging something, <laughs> as they say in technology, it's pinging me in places, so this is, and I felt like a card just, oh, okay, the past is affecting you, your throat chakra, interesting, five and one makes six, they're showing me that right away. So, um, the ability to use your voice this week, okay? Maybe your voice has been shut down in the past, but you've learned to use your voice, your best ability, and opening yourself up, okay? Let it, letting the world hear you, hear the way you feel and think. This is going to be, hmm, nice. Okay, so your magic, your magic for the week. Let's see what else we can bring up here, Pisces. <laughs> Your 
your heart. Beautiful. Okay? Beautiful. Your heart chakra is your magic. I mean, I can't, I can't really, I'll, I'll go into it, of course, on the day of, but um, four, four, celebrating joy, happiness, heart. Okay? Just, it is. Oh, wow. Okay, the spiritual message, the sacral chakra, your powerhouse. Look at all the chakras coming out at the end of the week. Okay. Underneath the star, which has the seven chakras there already. They're gonna these are the three chakras they want you to uh, concentrate on, Pisces. Beautiful. We also have the rejoice and celebration. This is celebration. This is the three of cups, the reconnection. Gorgeous underneath the deck. Okay, so this is great, Pisces. Wow. This is going to be a fun week again, again, yeah. Of course, they always come in with a myriad of, of, of great little nuggets for every card that comes in. I mean, they really show up a lot of information, okay? So let's pull some Oracle cards. I usually pull two here at the top and three here at the bottom to show how these all connect to each other. This is a fantastic week, Pisces. Yeah, I'm getting that awareness, that awake feeling. Like, like somebody turned on the lights. It's, um, it's quite bedazzling, actually. It's, it's quite fun to have this. It feels like the shutters have been opened up. Like the light just came through. Um, nice. Yeah, quieting the mind. I feel, I've, I feel a lot of you going into from, um, going around. I, we go around in our minds a lot, Pisces. We doubt ourselves a lot. It's all, it's all been about doubt, doubt, doubt. And that really dulls the magic. It dulls this, to me, this is the magician. It dulls the magic. I feel that you quieting your mind has really, really let you enjoy the moment. That's, that's it. I mean, that's, that's the extent of it. You're taking time to, oh wow, to enjoy. A tall tail and birds of a feather. I feel that you are going to be telling your story with the throat chakra coming in and birds of a feather and you're going to be you're going to be finding your people whether it's by seeing them tell their stories I'm here I'm seeing uh, you might go let's say on TV shows not you go but listening to TV shows or YouTube shows and you're going to hear people talking about their experiences and you're going to say I I know how that feels. I feel the same way. I've always felt this way. Okay? And it's not going to feel like such a tall tale anymore. It's going to be like the fairy tale comes true. This is like Pinocchio. Okay? With the nose and the hat. The, the, this is like the magician's hat. Okay? This is the awareness that's coming in. That first of all, you're not alone. This is the magic that's happening. You're sharing the magic with other people. Okay? Um... It's like they're showing me people who watch uh, near-death experience videos, okay? They're, they're showing me that. If somebody has been through a near-death experience but don't know that their experience has been experienced by others, when they find other people or they hear other people's story and how it all connects together, how there's points of commonality in every story, they start believing that they're believing in the experience that they had, okay? And the doubt goes away. The mind gets quiet. And then the vibrations open up. And things start to happen. This is what I'm getting here, Pisces. Things are starting to happen for you. Okay. So let's pull three cards for your week's work. And then we're going to close this up. And if you haven't seen the other two videos, I did the New Moon and Cancer. And also did the month of July. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Time machine and healing the heart. 
Time machine and healing the heart. They want me to put it here. Okay. Oh. Call of the Muse. Opening to discovery. Here it is again. Okay. So I'm going to leave all of these here, Pisces, okay? And it's underneath. It's the roots to abundance. I'm going to leave these all of you all over here. I'm going to read this one between the spiritual prosperity and the fulfillment of wishes. I mean, these are so beautiful. Okay? This is like, you're working on the good stuff here. Okay? So, okay, so this is breaking away from the stories uh, that construct the map of our reality. So this is breaking away from what we've known before and all the limitations. Okay? Um, when we be develop our stories, we build on older foundations, okay? And we repair the foundation when we can, or we tear them down to begin again. Uh, we did have the tower come in, and you're kind of just, you are doing that, okay? Um, you take the best of the past, and you add with your future the best and most powerful traits of yourself and them, and integrate it together to make it into this beautiful um, life. So this time machine, it has no beginning, it has no end. There's, in other words, you can travel, you can, there's no, there's no linear time is what I'm hearing here, okay? They're saying you can see the fruits of the future and you can see the best traits of the past, and you can be in your present moment. You can do it all in one. Like it's almost like you're capable right now of, of seeing the best that's coming, of of picking the best that was, and living fully in the moment. I, I guess that's the best I can put it as. Okay, this is Call of the Muse. I like that. Call of the Muse to me is like developing your magic. It's like being inspired to do and you're opening up to discovery and how you're doing that is with your throat chakra okay healing the heart the heart chakra is your magic by healing your heart you moved into your power and right away I could see that right here okay you see the green and then you see the red orange and this is this is exactly it they're just kind of okay you see it the heart is actually orange I'm not making this stuff up okay it's yellowish orange, same thing, same as this card. Okay, you see the green right here on the side? Oh, look, oh, there you go. Okay, so you've healed the heart by healing your heart. You've tapped into your personal power, healing the heart to the personal power. You're doing it, Pisces. You're rocking it. This is going to be fantastic. We, I can't wait to look into all these cards. I'm going to write all of these down, and then we're going to really, we're going to, we're going to take them apart. I'm going to take them apart with you with spirit. I'm going to give you all the information they have to give me. And it's going to be a fabulous week. I hope you can join me then. Take care, Pisces. I will see you later. Love, light, and blessings.